We are heading in to a new era of ECW with new champions, but with the same old problems. No money and last place in the rankings. Welcome back, guys. Son of Scotland, Amy. It's the WWE 2K24, my GM. We just got done with the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Drew McIntyre is the new ECW champion, but all the titles changed hands. So we have Trick Williams defeating Dominic Mysterio for the ECW TV title, and then the ECW tag team titles changed hands as well. The Judgment Day losing to Brooks Jensen and the other guy whose name I can't even remember. So we've got champions, tag team champions to be exact, and I don't even know who they are. So things are great. We've got £94,000 in the bank. The show's going to cost us 11 k and that got me thinking. Kevin Owens is out injured for five weeks. We need to bring in, I think, a big time player. So we're going to go to talent scouts and we're going to look here. No, we don't want any of these guys. I said big time players. These guys are big fucking jobbers. Just look at them. Chester, Sammy Fortex, Jive Owens, Jackson Smooth. You can smooth your ass on out of here. We need to find talented people and to do that, I think we need to look at legends, or at least icons. Level 15 to level 19. Now, it will cost us... Hang on, what will cost us? It's going to cost us 25k. If we do icons, it's going to cost us 15k. We're going to search. And that's not including the price it's going to cost to bring them in, but we're going to search for some icons. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can have some success. Let's do it. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Oh, I got Charlotte Flair, Jimmy Uso, Sheamus, and Bray Wyatt. Not really what I was looking for. Uh, none of those guys are really what I wanted. I mean, could maybe bring in Sheamus. I don't know. I didn't really want any of these people. I mean, do we bring in Sheamus? He's, eight, he's 85,000 for five weeks. We don't have that amount of money. So we can't even bring in Sheamus if we wanted to. Now, I believe you can get him in for less, so we, we could sign him for a week or whatnot. We could adjust it, but, I mean, either way, it is not great. Do we bring in Sheamus? I, I think we need somebody. I do believe we need somebody. Do we bring in Sheamus? I, I'm going to bring in Sheamus for three weeks. Three weeks. All right, we'll bring in Sheamus for three weeks. Sheamus can be the newest member of ECW. And uh, that's that signing made. So I guess we need to put him in a match then. It's just, yeah, he has to be in the match, doesn't he? Who is he going to be against though? It will be Sheamus taking on... Who can Sheamus take on? Well, there's only Carmelo Hayes unless we change Carmelo... Unless we change one of these matches. So we can't even. So we'll just put... God damn it, this is a bit lame. We'll put Sheamus against Carmelo Hayes perhaps. Is that the match right there? That's it. So we'll do that. Or we just have maybe Sheamus come in and, and cut a promo. Well, we have Sheamus cut a promo. Yeah, we might, uh, we might do that then. Sheamus can come in and cut a promo. Aye, we'll do that. Here we go. Sheamus comes in. He can do, um, what's he going to do? A self promo. He can cut a self promo. But first, we need to take him out of this match. Boom, like, clear that. Sheamus can do a little self promo. He can talk about his ginger hair and all that shit. Boom. Uh, in terms of this mid card match, we are going to have. We're going to have Christina Fury taking on Donna Matrix. No idea who they are, but hopefully they can. Oh wait, they're two heels. We're not going to do that, actually. We're not going to do that. We're going to have um, Christina Fury take on Fallon Henley. That should work a little bit better. And then the first thing here, we're going to have... We're going to have... Not tag team call. And our sell promo. And we will... Who will we have? Uh, Camille Hayes is kind of struggling. 46 popularity. We'll have Camille Hayes do that. So, boom. There you go. Camille Hayes can cut a sell promo. And that's our show, guys. So... We have a big opening tag team match in the beginning. That is what we're going to get into, first of all. Let's just make sure everything is good here. 17k left. We're fine. That's us. Let's do it. Boom. Here we go. Let's confirm it. WCW, first of all, we need to see what they do. But we're going to just simulate the rest of the show. Because we don't care about WCW. We'll find out at the end. But yeah, title's on the line here. We'll play as... Who are we going to play at? It's a table match, so... Mm, I'll play as we'll play as Brooks Jensen or Josh Briggs. We'll play as Brooks Jensen, the youngest guy in the match, the crappiest guy in the match. We'll see if we can retain the belts here because they just won them at Hell in a Cell. And the last thing they want to do is lose them straight back to the Judgment Day. So we're going to try here and keep the belts around the waist of Brooks Jensen. 
and Josh Briggs. Whether or not that can happen, whether or not we can make that happen, who knows, but here they come. Look a bit weird without the gold around their waist, but it's Finn Balor, it's Damian Priest, a couple of angry looking guys, a couple of uh, gothic looking guys who look like they want to end it all. They just want to talk about how bad life is, how everything sucks, and I guess it sucks even more for them now, because they've not got the tag team titles, so yeah. The little emo boys coming down to the ring look like they're, they're serious. They might put a serious ass whipping on the new tag team champs. Are they going to do that though? We're going to find out right here, right now, as the Judgment Day make their way down to the ring. But it's time for the champs. You can see tables set up already here. We had Damien Priest clenching his fist. He wants to fight right now. He doesn't want to wait. He wants to get his hands. And here we go. That's the tag champs right there. The ECW tag champs, Brooke Jensen. Josh Briggs, Briggs and Jens, tag team champs for ECW. And will this be an extremely short title reign? Hopefully not for these guys, but uh, belts on the line. First man to go through a table loses, so it's not elimination style, it's first man through a table. If you fall through a table, if you have a sleep on the table and it breaks, then essentially you're fucked. You know, you have to, you have to make sure that you do not break that table in any sort of way. If you sneeze and that table snaps in half, then you have to give away those gold belts. So, yeah, a lot on the line here, no doubt about it. Tag Team Championships up for grabs. We've got Sheamus as well, who made his... Well, he's going to make his debut after this, cut a promo. So it'll be interesting to see how Sheamus gets on. We might give Sheamus a match next week, I don't know. Maybe. Could Sheamus be coming after these belts? We'll find out, but here we go. This match underway, a big blues lane from Jensen to Damien Priest. And now we've got Balor and Briggs battling in the corner. Big elbow. Briggs Jensen looks pretty big actually. You know, he seems like a big boy. Oh, big knee there. Damien Priest looks like the, no, Damien Priest, sorry. Finn Balor looks like the wee small man, the midget man. He looks like a little cruiserweight here. Looks like he doesn't belong. But uh, here we go, Damien Priest then. Oh, and that shoulder. Shoulders to the back of Priest. Priest still kicks back. And it's Priest's turn to look for some momentum. He's got a stretch going on here. And then he just throws his face first, chin first. And now Damien Priest stomping away. Damien Priest taking down Jensen. And now Brooks coming to help us, or Briggs coming to help us as we roll to the ring here and try and uh, recover. But it looks like Balor could be coming to take us. And Balor is coming to take us. But we can Oh, and Balor! With a counter sending us flying. And the Balor smashing our face into the turnbuckle. That ECW turnbuckle. And uh, Judgment Day beginning to take over. Big suplex from Finn on the outside. And the champions do look like they're in trouble here. Balor again just smashing Jensen into the ring post. Damien Priest on the other side is taking care of of Briggs, so yeah, the champs need to do something, they find a bit of momentum here as Balor flips back into the ring and Balor, is he going for the table perhaps? I think he is, Finn Balor here getting that table and he slides it into the ring. And then he walks into Jensen and Jensen's going to go for, um, what's that, atomic drop? And then a drop kick to the head of Balor. And all of a sudden now, Jensen, back in control, snap suplex on Balor, and now, can Jensen get this table? He can, he's got it. Oh, and he's hitting Balor with it. And then he just threw the damn thing at Balor, holy crap. That, I mean, if that smashed, would that have been it? Would that have been over for Balor? And, and Judgment Day, I don't know. But here we go, Jensen. He's, oh, that's a one. lovely manoeuvre. And that table, look at the way it's sitting. Can you even put someone through a table the way that's positioned there? I don't... Oh, and again, Balor just going into that. And the table is just... Now we've got another table set up. This is insane. Oh, and a backbreaker. And Brooks Jensen. And then Brooks Jensen goes for another drop kick, and now that table's looking good. Oh, and Briggs is bouncing his head off it. And we could have Damien Priest down here. Damien Priest just gets tossed to the outside, and that was a chance there, I think, to put him through the table, and we didn't, didn't use it, didn't utilise it. Another atomic drop, and this time is Finn in trouble. 
Can we put Finn for the table here? Not where you want to be right now. Quick exchange of counters there. Again, no, we just push him to the outside. Damien Priest hits a DDT. Oh, Brooks from behind. Oh, he hit the back suplex. Wow, Damien Priest wasn't expecting it. Damien Priest was too busy attacking um, Briggs and then Jensen from behind with a back suplex through the table. And I was saying that this title reign could be extremely short. There was only one thing extremely short here tonight, and that was the match. Jensen and Briggs, victorious. They come out with the belts. And a pretty impressive showing, so the ECW Tag Team Champions will at least not be transitional champions. They're going to have the belts for another week. Four-star match, and that just gets the rivalry going even higher. So, yeah, that's good to see. But uh, now we need to check the rest of the show. So, a good opening match. Four stars. Uh, we've got a sell promo from Carmelo Hayes. Luke Gallows versus Tim Burr. And Luke Gallows picks up the win. I think that was to be expected. One stars. That's fucking atrocious. Sheamus cuts a promo, gets his popularity up by three. That's good stuff. I like to see it. Thanks, Sheamus, for delivering on your debut. Fallon Henley picks a win up. Disappointing match. Not surprised there. We've got Ellie Knight calling out Drew McIntyre, saying he wants the next shot at the ECW Championship. And then in the main event, we have Drew McIntyre taking on Trick Williams with Dominic Mysterio coming in, costing Trick. Oh, and it only did okay. That only did okay. I thought it would have done a lot better than that. I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed. Two and a half stars. Wow, okay. I can't believe we only did two and a half stars. I was convinced we would have done better than that. You can see our opener was great. But everything else let us down. And that's probably going to mean that we lose this week. Had we put on, you know, better matches throughout the rest of the show, we could have blew WCW and Raw away. But we didn't. WCW gains 52.4 thousand fans. We gain what? We gain 37 thousand fans, so we're losing here. And then Raw. Raw gain 38 thousand fans. So WCW coming out big winners this week. And you can see they are ahead pretty comfortably it's close between ourselves and raw but yeah bischoff at the moment showing us how it's done i hate how we don't have a female championship on ecw it just to me it's i don't want to say it's game breaking but when everything is set up to be pretty much equal among the brands and like it shows you there you know you've got your women's champ and your men's champ but for us not to have a champion that's a bit dumb to me they could have just added a belt and they could have put a fake belt in or, or a, a duplicate belt they could have done something but they didn't, for whatever reason. But anyway, guys, let's see what we've got up here. Triple H, I'm a little concerned that you're falling off the pace with WCW. You need to do better. All right. Triple H just gives a homecoming card. Select it. Oh, okay, so we can we could make Sheamus a permanent deal here if we wanted to. Um. Okay. Trick Williams wants to fight Dominic soon. I will make that happen. Camelo pays. Don't. Hey boss, you've had me benched for a while. I really want to get back in the ring. Do you have room for me in a match on tonight's card? Yep, that's it. You want a match tonight, Carmelo Hayes? You will have a match tonight. Just do not let me down. So, that's it, guys. Let's look at the ratings here before we go. So, yeah, WCW beginning to pull away. It's a little bit concerning, but um, we can, you know, we can fight back, I'm sure. But WCW, since, like, probably since week four, you see, they've began to pull away and you know, they're getting in front of Raw, they're getting in front of us. We're close to Raw, but yeah, that gap to WCW is getting a little bit worrying. Our budget as well, nothing new here. We have the least amount of money, but hey, we're ECW. I mean, what do you expect? Of course, we're going to have less money than Raw and WCW. But that's it, guys. I will catch you for the next one. This has been the ECW, my GM mode. We've got this. Of course, we've got no chance. We don't. Still. Jensen Briggs and Josh Brooks or whatever they're called. I think I maybe got it the other way about there, but who cares? They're still the champs and we'll see if there's any title matches next week. That's it. Catch you in the next one. Till then. Peace.